as it does when he's doing karate. Oh, oh, bad. The word tick applies to sudden movements in horses. Horses are nervous animals, and that's where the word tick comes from. There you go. I think maybe it's a kind of an under understanding, you know, like a, a recognition. It's equal. You know, we both have control and we both don't have control. A horse is as unpredictable as I am. Their movements are less uniform. They're more like mine, you know. They read my body or something. Or they, they, they really pick up on emotions, horses, you know. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Yeah. Shane's relationship with horses seems mutual. Just as they calm him, he calms them. We saw this when our camera came too close. Hey. Hey. Really, really. Really, really. Ho, 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 ho. You need to spit. Horses, like tigers, find their way into Shane's art. I think in that great painting of yours, the fire horse, here the horse again become, becomes a divinity. Absolutely it does. And um, here I think some of your own sort of butting and, and equine behaviours and your mastery when you're, you know, riding horses with your head on it and your mastery when you paint horses, they all become one. The mane of the horse is a fire-like movement and the nostrils can steam and spray. <laughs> but Shane's art is not all celebration of life. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't scratch your limbs. In these tortured figures, his compassion for the persecuted seems to merge with a kind of self-portraiture. Uh, you know, I, I thought that yeah, um, you know, to, to feel what an image is, I mean, to sculpt it, you don't become the, what the sculpture is, but you s I certainly get closer to it. It's like, um, I mean, this is an emaciated creature here, and it's dying in front of you, and you're, you're helpless. It's helpless to help itself, and most people in the world seem to be helpless. This is, this is my dollhouse. I used to play this when I was a little boy. That's an emaciated prisoner. It's made of me, <laughs> in some ways. <coughs> I've been holed up in my apartment many times. Here. I feel... Uh, <laughs> alone. I feel alone. Hollywood woman, eh? What do you want? What do I want? Why don't you come over here? I'll buy you. How much are you? For sale? No, I keep spending. I can't afford it. You're, you're, are you a Jewish woman from, from North York? From North York? Yeah, no, North I'm, from what's your name? I'm from Connecticut. Well, you're American. I'm a little nervous. You moved to me. You're too jittery. What's wrong? I'm jittery. Oh, what it's else? women. Oh, relax. Oh, tell me. Are you a, sort of a, you know, a drugstore psychiatrist? <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me to relax. Oh, relax in your arms. Chill out. Oh, I like this chill out. I heard that. Yeah, That's no. an Americanism. How, how can I get in touch with you? I don't know. How can you? I don't know. Did you ever come to the States? Psychically? Yeah. Or, yeah. 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 No, There's a sort of instant relating that Shane does. What are your cards? I won't hurt you. I know you won't hurt me. No! For, what's it? For pure energy. He'll what walk up to women and enchant them, and in seconds, he has their name and address and phone number, and he'll get an urgent summons to call them. And yet... There was something rather lonely and isolated about him. I think 
that there are not too many solid relationships around him. And she, where are you from? Uh, Tourette Land. Tourette Syndrome. That's correct. That's correct. Ding, ding, ding. And you win $500. Tourette Syndrome. What? Tourette Syndrome? It's, a, it's, a, it's, an, uh, it's characterized by involuntary uh, movements and sometimes uh, you know, vocal utterances and, and, and sudden surprise. Uh, they're not twitches and they're certainly not, they are not, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, muscle spasms? Because a muscle spasm is a, a, a muscle contraction. Autonomic. These are, autonomic? They're involuntary. They're involuntary. They're involuntary. It's well, brain. sometimes they're involuntary. It's a brain thing, yes. It's a brain thing. Simply put, it's a brain thing. I got the brain thing. Mixed. And, and, and then, like, you know, I, I, I swear to God, I think this. You know, I think, what? I said, no, I'm serious. Go away. I don't okay. need you anymore. Yes, sir. You know, um, uh, I was okay. Elvis Presley. Uh, no, you I, were Elvis Presley. No, I think Elvis Presley had Tourette syndrome and no one recognized it. No, I'm saying this seriously. Elvis and Tourette's. Because, yes, I do Where? believe. In his pelvis? Everywhere. But I'm not an Elvis imitator. I'm an Elvis imitator. No, not with that Irish accent that comes behind. Irish accent. Shane called this new friend several times after their chance meeting in the market. She invited him to visit her in Connecticut. But, as is often the case for him, things didn't go much further. Um, she likes me, right? She loves her, she likes her hair. Shane's instant relating can endear people to him very quickly. But the very animation that can break through social barriers often makes the sustaining of relationship quite difficult. His sheer energy is sometimes too much for people. One might even think it would be too much for him. And yet, there is a quiet, absorbed Shane, which provides a liberation from the frenzy of his Tourette's. We saw this when we were in Paris. He went missing for a few hours. Where's Shane gone? Uh, where, where's the wind gone? <laughs> you know, he, he takes off, he could be anywhere. Maybe he's gone up the Eiffel Tower. Maybe he's in the catacombs. Maybe he's making love. You know, one, one doesn't know, one doesn't know. We found him later at the Rodin Museum, contemplating the work of his favorite sculptor. Much of it dwelt on themes of sex and love. See how they're fused, they're like one, they become one, and it's not a conflict. If one is giving to the other, one is taking. They both seem to be doing both, you know? Rodin's like, you know, he's so caught up with women, you know, he's thinking about women day and night. They took a big importance in his, in his life, you know, and he was uh, always showing it, you know, in here. I mean, there's no crime, it's wonderful. It's just that he had a lot of women on the go, he's always having sex with this one or the other one. And he, and he, he was quite open about it. But uh, they look so vulnerable, you know. Safe, safe with it in each other's arms, but some are vulnerable to the world. There's a need, like a desperation in, the, in that. And it's uh, maybe a quiet, quieter desperation, I don't know. Just the way I feel. The, the boy was in danger of becoming isolated from the world, totally negative from the, from the point of view of living with his life. And uh, I did all I could to, uh, to, deal, to help him deal with that, that's all. But he surely made me poor, that's a, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drained this account. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Shane's father died last May. I was anxious about the effect this might have on him, so I flew to Toronto to be with him. All right. It's dirty out here. No, neither.
put them over there. Um, Shane? Yes. It's your birthday in a couple of days. Yes. I think I want to buy you something of a, of a periodic table and colours. I have various pigments based on cobalt, copper. Shane's Tourette's will not go away. The condition will continue to dog him and put him into sometimes delightful and sometimes dangerous situations. Uh, what's your name anyway? Darius. Darius. Are you nice Greek? You. Are you Greek? No, I'm from Poland. Poland? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Polish Shane. Canadian. Oh, Polish Canadian. So what, what, what are you looking for here? What kind of brushes? You know, wow, look at that one, eh? That yeah. feels like, mmm, sexy, eh? You know, when you press them, eh? Tourette's has a wanton force. It impels Shane towards both brilliance and destructiveness. Smell mm. Much hinges on his capacity oh, no. to persevere yeah, yeah. with his art. And also, you know what I'm saying? People come up, you know, like this, you know what I'm saying? They, they go, let's go see the painting, right? Say, let, let's Whether he will find a way of accommodating his tiger volcano and riding the fire horse within him remains to be seen. So are you an artist? Yeah, well, I try to be. Are you? Me too. No, I'm also trying to be. You're trying to be? I'm are pretending. You I'm pretending. You're I pretending. Well, that's what I say when I come in here. We're both pretenders, eh? Yeah. We are not pretenders, but we make illusions, right? We sort of trick people, right? Have you ever seen a brush like that? No, I don't know. Let me check it out. Sit down. Sit down. I'll give you a shave. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. There you go. There we go. Isn't that nice? Well, look. Hey, look. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, don't spin on the camera, I know. Yeah, that's right, I'm supposed to... Oh, here they come. Helicopters are after me. Oh, no. 